hello students welcome all of you today we will start the next chapter of our social science that is living longer and healthier and in your book it is 11th chapter that name is healthcare chapter is same but names are different so basically student in this chapter we will cover some important point like the history of instrument like the thermometer microscope etc which have made advancement in medical field possible so we will learn about it and the condition of eminent scientist in the field of medicines next topic that is the latest discoveries in the field of medicine and rules of basic health care so in this chapter we will cover these important point okay students people in the old time used to think that disease are caused by evil spirits they think that people fall sick because of the evil spirits and to cure them they worship god and goddess but today we know how disease are caused we can control disease and we know live longer and lead healthier lives so now our lives are longer and healthier because of the control in the disease let us read about the development in the field of the medicines that what development make it easy so now we can know that how disease spread and we also know that which prevention is better to cure the disease means prevention is better than cure so we can stop the disease spreading and now with the help of medicine we can prevent the disease also and we can stop it spreading in our body and now we can control the disease by the help of the medicine and other development in the field of the medicine so let's read about the field of the medicine that developed field of the medicine that which developments occurred here students first of all we will read about clinical thermometer clinical thermometer is very useful in the field of the medicine fever what is the instrument we use to find out the temperature we use a thermometer to find the temperature of the body the thermometer was invented by the gabriel denial fahrenheit in 1714 so student you can see the clinical thermometer on your screen there are lots of type of clinical thermometer present now this is also a clinical thermometer that used today by this type of thermometer we can we can mark and measure the temperature of a person from a distance you know that while measuring the temperature the thermometer is put under the armpit or in the mouth to find out the temperature hey student in this picture you can see this is the picture of rene lenens who invented the this is the picture of Gabriel Denial Fahrenheit okay this is the picture of Gabriel Denial Fahrenheit that who invented the clinical thermometer in 1714 you can see the picture of the thermometer which he invented okay so student the cl clinical thermometer is a simple glass tube with a bulb like shape at one end here you can see uh, there is a bulb like like shape in one end so uh, this bulb like shape is filled with mercury and the tube has markings of degrees in fahrenheit here this uh, is the marking of degree in fahrenheit from 95 degree fahrenheit it is marked from 95 degree fahrenheit to 110 degree fahrenheit kahan tak mapta hai ye it's measure from 95 degree fahrenheit to 110 degree fahrenheit and the student a normal healthy person has a temperature of 
98.4 degree Fahrenheit. Okay, what is the temperature of a normal healthy person's body? It is 98.4 degree Fahrenheit. You have to remember this. Now, there are lots of type of clinical thermometer available in the market uh, and these thermometers show the temperature itself by using it on body. So, the thermometer is put under the armpit uh, or in the mouth to find out the temperature and the temperature of normal person's uh, body is 98.4 degree, uh, degree, uh, degree Fahrenheit that is also 37 degree Celsius. Okay, so this is the temperature of a normal healthy person, 98.4 degree Fahrenheit. And student, next invention is that we will read in the in the medical field that is stethoscope. You know that stethoscope, this is the picture of the stethoscope. Doctor generally carry an instrument around their neck. Can you name it? This is stethoscope and it is the stethoscope it is used to find out the condition of the patient heart and lung okay they use it to find the condition of the patient's heart and lungs okay so here you can see on your screen this is the picture of Rene Lenz who invented the stethoscope okay this person is invented the stethoscope and student there is a story behind the invention of the stethoscope student um, it was used stethoscope is used to find out the condition of patient heart and lung and it was invented by Rene Lenins and in 1816 he invented it in 1816 there is an interesting story behind this invention Let's uh, know the story. What is the story? Once uh, Lenin's lot noticed that uh, two children sitting on the two ends of a log of wood and they were whispering through the log. When Lenin asked them, they said they could hear the faintest sound through the log. So, he was very shocked and he wanted to know that how it is possible that they can hear the sound through the both ends of the leg means the children can children were sitting in the two side and they can hear the sound from this side to this side so now he went back his clinic and tried the same thing with a rolled up newspaper on his patient he could hear the patient heartbeat he could also hear the sound produced by air while moving in and out of the lungs this led to the invention of the stethoscope okay by this uh, by this incident he invented the stethoscope okay here again on your screen you can see this is the picture of the stethoscope and it is used to find out the conditions heart and lungs and Rene Lenz, Rene Lenz invented the stethoscope okay and student next important invention of that time next there is an another in, uh, invention that is the microscope now we will read about the invention of the microscope student lens were known to us about 400 years ago and today were used to make spectacles and in 1590 two Dutchmen, Johans and Zacharias Jansen discovered that if a fly is seen by keeping one lens behind another means if they keep two lens means one behind another then any object and a fly for example it looks very big from it and they use this observation to make a toy called flay glass okay they invented flay glass by it and flay become very popular among the children at that time so uh, at the time only children were using the flay glass that is made by the lenses to use and it become very popular and then Galileo the famous Italian scientist Galileo was a very famous Italian scientist he came across the toy 
he used the idea of combining two lens to make a device called microscope then he make an idea that he can also combine two device to make this microscope two lenses to make microscope here you can see this is the picture of galileo galileo invented the microscope uh, and uh, the idea that came in his mind by the flay glasses flay glass so here you can see on your screen this is the picture of the microscope and galileo invented it he was a fa famous italian scientist came so he, when he saw the toy uh, toy flay glass and then he invented uh, microscope he used the idea of combining two lenses to make a device called microscope and since then the microscope has been greatly improved tab se leke ab tak kafi change ho gaya microscope mein and with the help of the microscope scientists were able to see microorganism like bacteria for the first time and today a microscope is used to examine blood urine stools etc okay and today we have many powerful microscope the electron microscope magnifies and uh, that means the electron mi microscope that magnifies an object millions of time here you can see on your screen the picture of different x rays x rays okay now we will uh, learn about the x rays who invented the x ray and how we can use the x rays in the field of medicine and how the x rays are very useful let's learn about it here student you can see this is the picture of wilhelm conrad roentgen okay this is the picture of wilhelm conrad roentgen he invented the x ray machine he invented uh, x ray he discovered x ray by x ray was discovered by wilhelm conrad roentgen in 1896 we we use x ray to locate fractures in the body here you can see x ray were discovered by wilhelm conrad roentgen and okay you can write down it in your notebook also this is the important point that who discovered the x x ray was discovered by wilhelm conrad roentgen in 1896 and we use x ray to locate fracture in the body okay and beside x ray we have very sophisticated medicine like like cat scan that is computerized axial Uh, tomography ultrasound and mri means magnetic uh, magnetic resonance imaging uh, these uh, medic these machines help the doctor to get a complete picture of the organs of the body okay by these pictures we can uh, doctors can evaluate the condition of the patient and they can treat it ecg electrocardiograph machine and the eeg electro encephalogram are used to monitor heart and brain respectively okay so these instruments are used in the body uh, to measure to monitor the parts of the body like eeg and ecg so these are the part of the these are the instrument that used uh, in the medicine field today next topic is student a laser laser stand for a light amplification by stimulated emission of the radiation it is used to perform operation without cutting up the body okay so laser basically laser stand for uh, light amplification by stimulated emission of radiation okay it is used by the radiation this is a light type use light light amplification means the doctors use uh, light amplification uh, in the stimulated emission of radiation and it is used to perform operation without cutting up the body okay in the laser doctor uh, can uh, perform an operation without the cutting body so uh, next is surgery surgery means repair uh, in the surgery doctors repairs and remove and replacement of the damaged part of organ of the body here you can see this is the heart transplantation machine uh, in this figure this is used to the surgery of the heart uh, in which doctors transplant the patient's heart by the by a new or by a donor's heart 
Surgery needs a variety of machines and instruments. So today surgery is quite safe, safe and doctor can replace a damaged heart with a healthy heart. This is called heart transplantation. What is heart transplantation? In heart transplantation, doctors replace means they change a damaged heart from a patient body and they can uh, transplant a new and healthy heart in the body of the patient's body this is called heart transplantation surgery is used to operate upon brain liver kidney and other internal organs so uh, modern surgery has made life safer and longer next topic uh, next student this is an important point the first heart transplantation was done by Dr. Christian Barnard. Okay, Dr. Christian Barnard, who uh, uh, who had first transplanted a heart from a human body. So he is the first surgeon, first uh, surgeon who had transplanted the heart. Next topic is medicines. In the past. People were very superstitious. Means, uh, superstitious means they believe in myths. Okay, myths means jhuti baato pe. Myths means jo ki false hote hain. Un pe yakin karte the. They believe in. They were superstitious and they believe in myths and they believe that diseases were caused due to one's bad deed or by evil spirits. So they went to which, uh, which. डॉक्टर्स और मैजिशियन टू गेट क्योर्ड द विच डॉक्टर्स जो होती हैं उनके पास जाते थे मीन्स जादूगर टाइप के ताकि ठीक हो जाए एंड स्टूडेंट्स मॉडर्न मेडिसिन मॉडर्न मेडिसिन have brought a great deal to change among people's attitude. The discovery of quinine helped in the treatment of malaria. Quinine means it's a uh, 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 medicine that is used in treatment of the malaria so when pe in uh, ancient time people were suffering from the malaria they went to the witches and the magicians to uh, you know, to the cure because they think that the they are people are suffered uh, and the diseases cause of the diseases are the evil spirits so now they can know that they know that ki diseases case healthy and how to cure it and medicines are very useful to cure the diseases now people can understand it okay next is a student antibiotic what is antibiotic student penicillin penicillin and uh, that is penicillin penicillin was the first antibiotic to be discovered sabse pehle penicillin discovered hui thi it was discovered by the alexander fleming here you can see the picture of the alexander fleming discovered the first antibiotic so penicillin uh, was discovered first and uh, alexander fleming so antibiotic are uh, drug which check the growth and spread of germs कि ग्रोथ जो होती है हमारी बॉडी में जम्स की उसको कम करने में एंटीबायोटिक्स हेल्प करते हैं ओके एंड क्लोरोमिसिटिन एंड स्ट्रिप्टो स्ट्रिप्टोमिसिन वर डिस्कवर्ड लेटर तो फर्स्ट एंटीबायोटिक विच वर पेनिसिलिन एंड फर्स्ट एंटीबायोटिक विच वर डिस्कवर्ड वॉज पेनिसिलिन एंड आफ्टर क्लोरोमिसिटिन एंड एंड स्ट्रिप्टोमिसिन वर ऑल्सो डिस्कवर्ड ओके Alexander Fleming discovered the first antibiotic. Prevention of disease through vaccination. Student, through vaccination, the body is made to develop a defense system, which makes its immune from disease. Means by the help of the vaccination, people can make uh, their immune system strong to defense uh, their body and defense the system which makes is immune from the diseases uh, let's take example of smallpox smallpox was a dreaded disease in the 18th century and many people died of it and those who survived had scars on their faces means uh, the people lots of the people were dying in the 18th century by the small smallpox and those people who survived they have lots of the uh, scars on their faces and this disease uh, this disease caught the attention of dr edward jenner 
ओके सो वन डॉक्टर एडवर्ड जेनर वन डे अ मिल्क मेड टोल्ड डॉक्टर एडवर्ड जेनर टू हिम दैट शी कुड नॉट हैव स्मॉल पॉक्स एज सी हैड ऑलरेडी हैड काउ पॉक्स मतलब उसने बोला कि उसको पहले से ही काउ पॉक्स हो चुका है नाउ उसको स्मॉल पॉक्स नहीं हो सकता सो ही डिसाइडेड टू टेस्ट दिस मीन्स डॉक्टर एडवर्ड जेनर डिसाइडेड टू टेस्ट दिस एंड ही ही इनोक्यूलेटेड एन एट ईयर बॉय जेम्स फिप्स उन्होंने जेम्स फिप्स को इनोकुलेटेड किया विद काउ पॉक्स फ्रॉम द मिल्क मेड मिल्क मेड की बॉडी से काउ पॉक्स जो है जेम्स फिप्स की बॉडी में इनोकुलेट किया उसको डाला द बॉय सफर्ड फ्राम काउ पॉक्स एंड सून रिकवर्ड बिकॉज काउ पॉक्स कुड बी ट्रीटेड ईजिली ओके तो फर्स्टली ही इंजेक्टेड काउ पॉक्स इन द बॉडी ऑफ द जेम्स फिप्स एंड देन द बॉय रिकवर्ड और फिफ्टीन डे लेटर डॉक्टर जेनर इनोक्यूलेटेड फिप्स विद पर्स फ्रॉम द सोर ऑफ अ स्मॉल पॉक्स पेशेंट मीन्स आफ्टर दैट ही इनोक्यूलेटेड उन्होंने उसकी बॉडी में स्मॉल पॉक्स के वायरस डाले एंड ही वॉचड एंड ऑब्जर्व द रिएक्शन ऑफ फिप्स द बॉय डिडेंट सफर फ्रॉम स्मॉल पॉक्स तो उसको स्मॉल पॉक्स नहीं हुआ बिकॉज ही हैड वन सफर्ड फ्रॉम द काउ पॉक्स थर्स एंटी स्मॉल पॉक्स वैक्सीन वर डिस्कवर उसके बाद उन्होंने इस तरह से एंटी स्मॉल पॉक्स की वैक्सीन खोजी एंड मैनी अदर वैक्सीन वर लेटर डिस्कवर टू प्रिवेंट पर्सन फ्रॉम डिजीज लाइक डिप्थीरिया पोलियो मीजल्स एंड टेटेनस एक्सेट्रा ओके सो हेयर यू कैन सी स्टूडेंट दिस इज द फिगर ऑफ द एडवर्ड जेनर who is inoculating james phipps this is james phipps so first he inoculated him with cow pox and when uh, the boy recovered easily from the cow pox because cow pox is not a very threatened disease so he um, recovered from this disease and when he, uh, again james uh, edward jenner again uh, again inoculating inoculated the small pox in his body then uh, he was he also he doesn't uh, suffered from the small pox okay so student here this type uh, by this the this is led towards the invention of the invention of the vaccination means this is the first vaccination which were uh, which were injected in a person's body and after the small pox after the anti small pox vaccine other vaccines were also discovered like polio diphtheria measles and tetanus etc next we will read about the louis pasteur who was a french chemist louis pasteur discovered vaccination for rabies here this is the picture of the louis pasteur louis pasteur proved that germ carry disease from one person to another person means he proved that ki germs can spread from one person to another person and louis pasteur was a french chemist and louis pasteur discovered vaccination for rabies deadly disease rabies was a very deadly disease at that time so he discovered the vaccination from the rabies louis pasteur he proved that germs carry disease from one person to another he discovered that heating kill germs he also iski koi jab garam hoti hai to it kills the germs he found that if uh, milk is heated for half an hour and then cooled suddenly the germs is it are killed this process is now called pasteurization okay is process ko kya bolte hain pasteurization okay pasteurization in his honor kyunki his name uh, in his honor his name was louis pasteur that's why uh, this process is called pasteurization in his honor and the milk and butter we eat are pasteurized matlab usme bhi germs ko maarne ke liye yahi method use hota hai that's why uh milk uh, and butter everything we use they are pasteurized okay next topic is student chloroform chloroform so chloroform was invented by the james simpson james simpson invented chloroform and he introduced the use of chloroform in medicine it is used to make a person unconscious before an operation so a person is made unconscious so that he does not feel pain okay so it is used in the medical field field uh, for the um, for making an person unconscious so that he will not feel the pain during the 
ऑपरेशन नो नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इज स्टूडेंट जोसेफ लिस्टर हु इज जोसेफ लिस्टर दिस इज द पिक्चर ऑफ द जोसेफ लिस्टर हे यू कैन सी दिस इज जोसेफ लिस्टर विद द डिस्कवरी ऑफ क्लोरोफॉर्म सर्जिकल पेन वॉज रिड्यूस्ड मीन्स नाउ पहले क्या होता था जब सर्जरी होती थी तो वो पर्सन को बिना बेहोश किए होती थी बट वैन दे डिस्कवर्ड क्लोरोफॉर्म सो बाय द हेल्प ऑफ द क्लोरोफॉर्म दे कैन मेक द पर्सन अनकॉन्शियस एंड आफ्टर दैट दे कैन परफॉर्म द सर्जरी सो दिस रिड्यूज द पेन बट हाफ ऑफ द पेशेंट डाई ड्यू टू इन्फेक्शन ऑफ वाउंड बाय जर्म्स तो कई बार जर्म्स के थ्रू जहाँ पे ऑपरेशन होता था वहाँ इन्फेक्शन हो जाता था सो जोसेफ लिस्टर फाउंड दैट कार्बोलिक एसिड कैन बी यूज इन ऑपरेशन सो दिस थिएटर्स टू किल जर्म्स सो कार्बोलिक एसिड डिड नॉट इंजरी बॉडी टिश्यू आल्सो ही आल्सो स्टार्टेड द प्रैक्टिस ऑफ स्टेलाइजेशन ऑफ सर्जिकल इंस्ट्रूमेंट मीन्स सर्जिकल इंस्ट्रूमेंट को साफ करना और उसके बाद उसमें उन्होंने क्या ढूंढा कि ही uh, कि किस तरह से वो कार्बोलिक एसिड को यूज़ कर सकते हैं ताकि जर्म्स ना फैले बॉडी में बाय द कार्बोलिक एसिड बिकॉज इट इज़ नॉट हार्मफुल बॉडी एंड बाय द स्टेलाइजेशन ऑफ द सर्जिकल इंस्ट्रूमेंट ड्यूरिंग स्टेलाइजेशन इंस्ट्रूमेंट आर क्लीन इन बॉइलिंग वाटर टू मेक दैम फ्री फ्रॉम जर्म so student there are some point for the basic हेल्थ केयर यू हैव लर्न दैट हाउ द इन्वेंशन इन द मेडिकन मेडिकल फील्ड स्टॉप द स्प्रेडिंग ऑफ द डिजीज एंड द दे नाउ बाय द हेल्प ऑफ द डिस्कवरी इन द मेडिकल फील्ड नाउ पीपल आर लिविंग लॉन्गर एंड हेल्थियर एंड लॉर्ड्स ऑफ द डिस्कवरीज मेक अवर लाइफ ईजी एंड नाउ वी कैन क्योर द डिजीज बाय द हेल्प ऑफ दीज इन्वेंशंस so lots of scientists and doctors have their uh, have a lot of help they give a lot of help to cure the diseases and for this uh, inventions now we have developed many simple way to control the spread of diseases some of these ways are keep yourself and your surrounding clean if you will keep yourself and your surrounding clean then you can uh, stop diseases spreading eat balanced diet do regular exercise and drink clean water so we will uh, you have to watch this video again and uh, to understand the chapter clearly okay and uh, in our next class we will discover the important point of this chapter and i will also ask the question related to this this video in your class so uh do your work worksheet i will send the worksheet with this video and uh, write down it in your notebook so next time we will check it